Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to provide one more tip and tricks on Power BI Visual that is include or exclude option. What it is, when to use it, let's try to check it out as part of this video. Let's begin. This channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI and fundamentals of Azure as well as SQL. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with friends and colleagues. So include and exclude. So this is very uh, simple uh, dashboard that we use from our uh, Naga Garments um, data set. And you can see every chart has that option. You can see the include or exclude when you right click on a bar. When you right click somewhere else it will not appear you have to click on a bar or in the data values so what is this basically right now you have a certain um, data over here right i want to add or have only these two right meaning i want to include only these two i don't want this one so in that case you have to press control click control click then right click then you have to say include meaning like i don't want to see the data for 2018 in that particular visual it is not across all the visuals only for that particular visual so you can see that filters started appearing here that is included to 2016 and 17 so this is what all about the include function what about the exclude same case if you have many members instead of including one by one you can do the opposite right i want to exclude only 2018 so in that case right click and exclude that will appear disappear basically so uh, this is what the include and exclude option is so when what scenarios you will use it right now uh, you can see here casual wear t-shirt and uh, shirt arrow when the data is exposed like this usually i want to do a comparison between jeans uh, levis and whoever is buying the jeans levis and the t-shirt only these two i want to compare in that case how can i use it uh, once this report is published right uh how they will use it from end user perspective let's try to understand let's go back uh, over here in the uh, url like app.powerpay.com where i expose this report here uh, for the end user uh, if he wants to filter out these things right now we are not giving him any options here right you have don't have a filter you don't have any other uh, slices to check it out i want to do the comparison between uh, t-shirt and the jeans levis so for that he can do on his own like click control click uh, click on this particular member and control press control and then press on this member now you can see the two items are selected then he can choose include so in this way he can do his own analysis comparing between only his focus this is the most important way we are giving flexibility to the end users right so now once this is done how we can revert it back there is no options over here because we don't didn't explore the filter options for the users so all he needs to do is he, he need to refresh that is the fundamental thing right now we have so this is the uh, end results of include and exclude either users can able to select multiple items in this case include i can say exclude these items this time so these three will be excluded all other things will be uh, seen over here so i hope you like this uh, tip regarding include and exclude if you have not ever teach your end users how to use this functionality effectively if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification in order to not to miss any of the videos in this channel.